A decade after hosting the 34th Ordinary Meeting of the Summit of Heads of State and Government of the Southern African Development Community in Victoria Falls, Zimbabwe will once again host the region, this time at the new Mount Hampton Parliament building in Harare. And with the government eager to make a lasting impression on the 16 heads of state and government, as well as their entourage, which will probably take the total number of visitors who will troop into the country to hundreds, there is need to house them into an accommodation befitting their statuses, which spotlights the airport's company of Zimbabwe's $13 million state pavilion project at the RG Mugabe International Airport, which is now near completion. Located on the tarmac, away from operations, the State Pavilion will be home to high-level dignitaries when they jet in in August. After being welcomed by the ACZ boss Tawanda Gusha, our tour of the impressive structure began at the modern architecture arrivals passage, which houses the waiting lounge, the passport control, and the security checkpoint before the dignitaries head into the president's lounge. On my left uh, will be the uh, presidential lounge. So if the head of state is meeting any of his colleague uh, heads of state or government, you will then uh, meet them and, and, and uh, escort them to this, uh, to this lounge. The pavilion will also house the first spouse's lounge, located just beside the president's lounge, the vice president's lounge, the minister's and diplomat's lounge, in addition to the in-house clinic for medical emergencies. However, witnessing the modern and international standard, which went into the construction, leaves one to question what inspired the ACZ heritage-based design. A modern design where we utilized uh, mostly natural lighting. A modern design also where we utilized uh, uh, solar uh, systems in certain areas. Uh, we do have even the design of the terminal building itself in terms of uh, uh, bring it uh, back home. It's got the feel of the, our nation, the, the Great Zimbabwe itself. So you will see the columns that are in uh, around the, the building, uh, taking the chevron shape of the term of, of the Great Zimbabwe. But how much did the government fork out? Where we are standing here for this pavilion, uh, we spent uh, around thirteen million dollars just to put this structure in place. This structure will be like a mini airport terminal building on its own because it's got all the necessary facilities for arriving passengers and for departing passengers. From the President's Lounge, the regional heads of state will move to the press briefing room. And being a journalist myself, I could not wait for Mr. Gusha to take me through. And to say the very least, I was impressed. CEO, your favorite room, the press room. I, don't, I, I hope you're not saying this because of me. And <laughs> <laughs> Talk to us about the, the specs of, of this room. Okay, thank you very much. So what we have here is the, the stage where you will have the dignitaries uh, seated and then the, the rest of the room where you will have the, the members of the 40 state sitting and posing their questions uh, with the, what, what, on whatever matter that they would want to, to question. But then the beauty about the room also is that, as you can see, the ceiling is so high up there, mm -hmm. and then it is all glass around. So, yes, while you are at it, you can also be seeing what is happening outside. Uh, and then the business of the day will be taking place. Following the conclusion of a press briefing, the head of state will then proceed to the departure shade, where they will be picked up by the motorcade. Now, for the purposes of the SADC summit, the state pavilion will be used to receive the region's heads of state and government. However, post the summit, the pavilion will be used for VVIPs at the international airport. The regional heads of states are expected to arrive at Robert Gabriel Mugabe International Airport when they descend on Harare for the 44th SEDEX Summit, which is slated for this August and will run under the theme Promoting Innovation to Unlock Opportunities for Sustainable Economic Growth and Development Towards an Industrialized SEDEX. Now, though the infrastructure is not fully complete, the ACZ Chief Executive Officer says they expect to complete in less than two weeks and will be ready for the summit come August. PJ Nagoli, NRTV News.